Okay, so like I said, this is chapter 2D related to financial calculations. Now this is very much similar to things that we've already been looking at. However, now there's just going to be some new terminology. So if we, when you go shopping and there's an item that's cheaper than usual, you guys, if I'm sure you could tell me what, what's it called, what's the word starting with D that you would use when shops uh, give you some type of discount. Um, so that's when the regular, when you've got a deduction from the regular price or the, the price that they're offering their cl clothing for or whatever for is cheaper than the regular price. Uh, now, all shops are in business to make a what? Why a profit? Any business is open to try and make profit. So a profit is when you're selling your goods for more than what you bought it for. And if you're not making a profit, then you're making a loss. Or a what? Like a charity. Yeah, or yeah, I guess you could have a charity. Uh, and that, that is, you might have a non-for-profit type business, yes. So, if we want to work out percentages of a profit made on a particular, maybe clothing item or whatever item you might be selling, then we can use this formula here. So the percentage profit, the percentage of the profit is the profit divided by the original cost times 100%. So for example, maybe I buy a t-shirt for $30. I buy a t-shirt for $30 and I sell it to you guys for 50. So my profit is $20. Now if I want to know the percentage of profit I've made, I take my profit, which was 20, divide it by the original cost, which was 50. You go 20 over 50 times 100, and that will tell you what your percentage profit is. And then on uh, the other end of the scale, I've bought a t-shirt for $30. It's gone out of season, and now no one really wants it anymore, so I have to sell it at a loss. So I might sell it for $20. Therefore, my loss would be $10 over my original cost, which was 30. So then you go 10 over 30 times 100. So I just want you to note those two things there. So percentage profit is equal to profit over original cost times 100, times 100, and that gives you your percentage and your percentage loss. So it's your loss divided by the original cost times 100%. So... We'll have a go at doing question 2A. So, just copy a mark, a 30% markup on $1,200. Sorry, calculate the selling price. So we're calculating the selling price for a markup of 30% on 1200. So calculate the selling price for a markup of 30% on 1200. So what this is saying is I'm a business owner. I've bought some type of item. I need to make a profit on it. So I do a markup of 30% of what I bought it for, 1200 So to do this, we just are going to work out what 30% of 1200 is, and then the selling price is going to be 1200 plus that added 30%. So 30% of 1200 is equal to 30, so how do I write 30% as a percentage? Good, 30 over 100, and then remember of means multiply of 1200. Now since this is an easy one, we won't use a calculator. C, 
just imagine this was 1200 over 1. Across, if I do a cross uh, division here, so cross cancellation, sorry. So what could I divide each of those by? What could I divide 1200 by and also 100 by? 100. So if I divide 100 by 100, I get 1. And if I divide 1200 by 100, I get 12. So then I've got 30 over 1 times 12. And then 3 times 12 is 36. Add the 0, 360. All right, so my markup is $360. So what's my selling price going to be? It's going to be the original cost plus that markup. So selling price... equals original cost plus markup which is 1200 plus 360 which is equal to $1,560 alright now in Australia for every sale that a shop does, does anyone know what tax the shop has to pay to the government? Uh, it is a percentage of the cost. Not even the percentage, just what it's called. GST. Who's heard of GST? Hands down. So basically you'll notice on basically any receipt that you get when you go to the shops, it has some price and then they do a calculation and then they say GST is this much and therefore the total cost is this. Now whenever you look at the price in the shop, they've already added the GST to it. So if you look at a t-shirt in the shop and it's $50, that's inclusive of the GST. So that means that they, the, the business themselves gets $45 and the government gets 10% of that sale 10% of $50 is $5, so that's the GST. So we're going to have a look. So goods and services tax is what GST stands for, is added to many items you buy. This means 10% is added to the total co cost of goods and services provided for each item. Calculate the GST to be added and the price it will be sold for. So we're not going to do all of them. Does anyone have a particular preference in the item that they want to do here? <laughs> the concert tickets? No. No one wants to do the calculator? No. What about the earrings? What about the tea? Which one? What about Monopoly? I do love Monopoly. Oh. Alright. We're gonna do car. Car's yeah. gonna car's gonna be a fun one. Alright, we got a thirty two thousand five hundred and ninety nine dollar car. Let's work out what the GST to be added is. And also, therefore, what the price that it would be sold for. Whenever someone's selling a car or a house or a big item like that, does anyone know a tax that the government also takes? Has anyone ever heard of stamp duty? So stamp duty is basically, again, an additional tax that when you buy a house or a car, the go I'm not actually sure what the percentage is, maybe like 6%, the government takes that. Um, and then obviously the government then uses that money for whatever different types of things they need to use the money for. Maybe roads or health or whatever. All right, so uh, we're going to do, we're looking, this is question 5G. And um, we've got a car. Costs. Was it 32599 Five hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Uh, we want to calculate the GST. So calculate the GST and then calculate the selling price.
You know when you go to a restaurant and you buy a meal, do you reckon the government takes GST? Yeah. They take GST on every single service. All right, so let's work out what the GST is on this car. They told us in the question it was 10%. So GST is equal to 10% of 32,599. So let's write this in fractional form. 10% can be written as 10 over 100 times 32,599, which is equal to, who would jump to a calculator with this? All right, maybe some. 10 over 100 is the same as 1 over 10. All right, I can cancel these zeros, 1 over 10. If I multiply 1 over 10 by 32,599, pretty much I'm just dividing that value by 10. So therefore, I'm just moving the decimal place one position. So therefore, this will be 3,259.90. Why did I do 0 0.90? Because... We go to the nearest cent. So, if you bought a car for that much money, the government will want that much. So, therefore, the dealership that you're buying it for doesn't want to incur that cost because that will take away from their profit. Therefore, they add it to the price. So, therefore, the selling price. So, I and then part two. Selling price. is equal to 32,599 plus 3,259.90. I will use a calculator for that one. Thirty five thousand eight hundred and fifty eight point nine oh. So that car that just cost thirty two and a half thousand now costs almost thirty six thousand, just like that. All right, so we'll have a go at question six. We will just do one of them. Since I've set a couple of them for you to do, I'll choose one that we haven't done. We'll do something different to a car this time. Let's do a camera. All right, so a camera is bought for $935 and sold for $599. So the first thing we need to do is state if a profit or loss has been made. So it was bought for $935 and sold for 599 was a profit or loss made all right so a loss that's for part one why was it a loss because we sold it for less than what we bought it for all right so they've lost almost three or they've lost 336 dollars Oh, I just did the next bit. So part two says calculate calculate the profit or loss. So the way I would show this if I was doing it in a test, I would write loss equals purchase price minus selling price, which is equal to uh, the purchase price was 900 sorry the loss would be the yeah yep so the purchase price was 935 minus the selling price was 
599. equal to 336 dollars and then the last bit of the question wants us to find the percentage of profit or loss so this was the very th first thing that we noted today to find a percentage of profit or loss so percentage of loss is equal to it's going to be whatever the loss was which was three hundred and thirty six dollars divided by the original cost of the purchase price which was nine hundred and thirty five dollars times 100 and that's going to give us a percentage so let's have a look what this loss was for us divided by 935 times 100 comes out as 35.94 percent loss So an example, a real life example, maybe you buy a car for $30,000, you use that car for five years, it depreciates in value until it gets to maybe 20000 and then you could work out your percentage of loss on the car. So cars are an asset that lose value very quickly, whereas land might be an asset that gains value over time, depending on the area that you buy it in. So... We'll leave that 